Hello again, everybody. It's me, of course, Dalcora, again with another Sell It Preacher video. Why am I making so many? It's because I like playing the Sell It. And it's the first character that I've gotten to level 30 and have done most of the penances on by now. Um, so we're actually today going to look at all of the melee weapons available for the Sell It Preacher. And we're going to do like a little demonstration of how they actually behave in combat behind us in the training area so just a quick note these weapons all vary drastically in rarity and levels so the actual damage output can be very different depending on what ones you end up getting in game and i'm being messaged at the absolute worst time but we're going for it anyway still um let's jump into the training ground and start with our first weapon okay and starting us off the first weapons the atrox mark IV tactical axe Let's take this one over to some enemies the dashing capability is really high this is a very mobile weapon excellent for getting in and out of danger the attack pattern is very much focused at taking out single target enemies at once which makes this a great you know for taking out elites bosses and stuff like that that's just light attack spam there heavy i believe is a chop down and then a slash up again huge single target damage Push attack is just a nice little slash down there. And the special is kind of like a punt in the face, I guess, with some stagger added there. Next, we have the Kachan Mark III Combat Blade. Now, this is going to be very similar in the sense that it's going to be made for assassinating high value targets. The light attack spam on this one has quite a bit of slash in there as well. So you're not going to be as at a disadvantage if you're fighting against a horde with this, but definitely not perfect for that. So that's the light spam there. Heavy. It's a nice just stab in the face. There we go. Double stab in the face. Push attack. There's a slash down. And the special. And a little throat jab there. <laughs> Again, just for some pushback when you need it. Up in third is the Kachan Mark 1 Devil's Claw Sword. And sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciations. I'm quite new to these names. Very good single, no sorry, very good slash cleave damage against targets that don't have armor. Not so good against the armor. Push attack is just a nice diagonal slash as well. This has one of my favorite feeling heavy attacks. Just brilliant for taking off heads of unarmored enemies. Pretty good against crowds. Not fantastic against armor. And the special for this one is actually a parry. We can't get any enemy to attack us here. But the parry window is very generous, and if an enemy hits you in this time, you retaliate with a single target high damage attack on that person. Now we have the Rashad, Rashad, Razhad, maybe, Mark II Combat Axe. Here we go. Again, nice dash on this one. I did forget to say on the Kachan Sword, it has very good mobility as well. Basically the same as this. Not quite as good as the other two weapons, but very good. The attack pattern. A little bit more cleave than the tactical axe, so this one's going to suit a few more scenarios. You can take a couple of uh, smaller crowds out of this one, but still a very good axe for taking out single target units. Especially with this overhead bash. Push attack, nice horizontal sweep for taking heads. I keep knocking them over though, there we go. And the special is an upward slash. This one here, the Turtle Sky Mark 7 Heavy Sword. Whoops. Let's take this one for a spin. Check the dodge first. Still very good for something called a heavy sword. Light attacks. Big cleave. Very big cleave there. That's nice. That feels nice and fluid. Push attack. That's uh, likely to be an armor piercing attack there. There's quite a lot of damage as well. Heavy. Oh yeah. We got some slightly horizontal slashes here. Those feel good though. And for a special, I'm gonna slapping them with the back of the sword there, I think. I don't know why you would do that. But there it is. Okay, here's one of the more fun ones. We got the Kadia Mark IV Assault Chain Sword. Okay. Yes. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Light attacks. Not as much cleave as the other swords, but very good strike down, very fast attack pattern. This I find is excellent for most situations, just slightly less powerful against hordes, 
As for heavy attacks, got nice diagonal slashes there. Special is, of course, revving the bad boy up. And you can chain this into a heavy attack or a light attack. And the push attack there is a nice little jab, a little push back. Dodge capabilities, pretty damn good too. Moving on to maybe one of the last axes that I have, the Antax Mark V Combat Axe. Now some of these will have like different names, but uh, more or less are the exact same template. So you just like the Mark V, maybe also a Mark VII or something like that. But the move sets are the same. Essentially the stats are just a little bit different from what I can tell. So this here is your Elite Killer. You've got some fantastic strike downs, finishes off with a nice wide slash as well. So fit for a few situations, but definitely more targeting that high priority target DPS. Push attack is a really nice good horizontal swipe. That'd be good for crowd control. Heavies, that's just a head taker right there. Look at that. And the special, stick the axe in their face. Nice little bit of stagger there. Dodge, definitely more sluggage and also Looks like we have diminishing returns after only four dodges. And then after that, yeah, my man's gassed. And now the Crucis, Crucis Mark II Thunder Hammer. This is an iconic weapon. One of the ones that you won't unlock later until the game. And for good reason, this thing's really damn powerful. So let's go ahead with a couple of heavies. I love these. This will basically pass through as many enemies as you can get inside of it. And it will even absolutely deck armored units if you get them in there as well. These guys are notoriously hard to stagger and it will still send them flying. Nice damage as well. Very, very good wave clear. Light attacks. Most of them kind of strike down styles with the sweep at the end. Good for again picking out those single targets and sort of bonk, bonk. Trying to get them out of there as fast as possible. Very versatile weapon. And then of course, you can charge it up and send somebody to the afterlife with just one here. I mean, you combo that with your charge and they're gone. As for mobility, as you would expect, very limited on dodges. However, quite efficient at blocking and getting the enemies off of you. Oh, and I almost missed an axe here. We have the Axley's actually, Mark VIII Combat Axe. I know I haven't got that right. Just a slightly different move pattern than the other Combat Axe, though to be honest, it's very similar and almost hard to tell, but rather than having a triple strike down move set, excuse me, uh, the second attack is a horizontal slash, but with, you know, no penetration, it's just essentially another strike down, or at least that's how it feels. Everything else with this weapon is the same, but I thought I'd just throw it in there in case anyone wants to use this one in particular. Okay, this is actually a new weapon for me. I haven't used this yet. The Oretes Mark IV Assault Chain Axe. Please don't be mean to me for my pronunciation of these names. Um, let's see how it works. Oh, okay. Destroyed them. It seems to have... Okay, so it has a lot of cleave, but at the same time, it chainsaws enemies if it doesn't one-shot them. That's pretty cool. For heavy attacks, we have a, sorry, a diagonal chop down and another diagonal chop down with a huge amount of uh, impact there, sending enemies flying. That's a nice push attack. And then, of course, let's see. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Of course, you can rev it up. And as for dodge, it's not bad. It's not bad. And you could argue I've saved the best for last. Now this is the weapon I actually favor over all others. The Tigris Mark II Heavy Eviscerator. You can see I've gone all out and got myself a master crafted one. This was not easy to get this early into the beta. But this is hands down my favorite weapon and for good reason. It has excellent light attacks, very, very good for taking out elites and just kind of mowing down groups of enemies because it has a lot of cleave. The push attack, this has to be the best in the game. Horizontal sweep, and then you do it with a 
charged heavy attack afterwards, there's nothing that survives that. I've killed everything here. I just love it so much. Look at that. That's why it's the best. And then, of course, it will absolutely melt elites and bosses on higher difficulties with a nice little chainsaw light attack. It's easy as so. And if you really want to get creative, charge it up and send enemies all over the place in bits. Anyways, that is every weapon available as of the build right now. I will be doing the ranged weapons probably tomorrow. This is the flamer here, one of the cooler ones to look forward to. But if you enjoyed the video, of course, don't forget to subscribe. And I think that's about it. See ya.